Thank you for having me again. Now, I want to start with a bit of a motivation, and I'm sure you all know that the Chinese are leading in technology, specifically building walls. Traditionally, they've been building walls to keep the Russians out, something we as Europeans can sympathize with these days. But uh, more recently, they've been starting to build firewalls, more to keep information out or people in. And they are, of course, one of the things they're leading with is censorship in the domain name system. Now, who here is using the domain name system? Okay, I only have about 10 people paying attention. <laughs> or you're not from Taiwan, because I can't imagine in Taiwan people not using the domain name system, right? And if you're here, you should know what it is, I hope, too. No? Have you ever typed a name into a website, you're using the domain name system, right? Okay. Now, uh, to stop the China bashing, the Americans have been doing the same thing. There's a program called More Cow Belts from the NSA to do surveillance of the planet via DNS. They have a program called Quantum DNS, which they use for malware injection. So they get your DNS traffic and then redirect you to NSA-controlled malware sites. So DNS is a big part of the problem of government control, surveillance, and hacking. Um, and so that's the motivation. We want to find a better way to do the domain name system that respects our privacy and informational self-determination. So now that I've given you this introduction, I will talk about the cryptography. So let's assume we have G, which is a generator on an elliptic curve, a point, right? We have the size of the group, small o, that's a prime number usually. We have a private key, which we're using to attest authority or control over a name in a domain. So this is if you control example.com, you would have to have the corresponding private key. P would be the corresponding public key of that domain. Now, usually when you do name resolution, you have some kind of labels, you know, be it example.com, gov.tw, whatever, that's the label L, which we will represent as a number, modulo O. Now, in the domain name system, we publish a set of records, like the IP addresses we are trying to resolve, or certificates for the websites with, D with Dane records. So this is the information we care about. We'll call this RPL, the records published in zone P under label L. And now when you're going to ask for those records, we're going to send out a query. That's the query for the label L in the zone P, QPL. And what we're going to store in the network is actually something else. We'll call that BPL. And the idea is we will store the information of the name system on untrusted servers that are not supposed to learn what we are asking and what the answers are. We want to achieve query privacy and response privacy while at the same time achieving integrity and authenticity of the answers. And now here's the math for that. When you want to publish your records, you're going to hash the label and the public key to get small h, multiply that small h with your private key modulo o to derive a new private key, and then you're going to encrypt your records using a hash key derivation function, using symmetric encryption, and sign that with the derived private key, attaching the public key. And you're going to take the public key DG, hash that, and that's going to be the query under which you publish these records. Now, this is very short, the core idea of the GNU name system on the cryptography. With this, somebody who wants to search under label L in zone P can compute small h, multiply small h with the public key P, which will be the same as HXG, which is the same as H of DG. So they get the same query. They can get the records. They can decrypt them. And the server does not learn what the question was, in which zone you queried for which label, or what the answer was. So you've got a form of scalable private information retrieval that it allows you to look up names on the internet without disclosing to the authorities or name servers or whoever is running it what you're actually asking for. So if you want to prepare for censorship from the government, you might want to prepare to civil defense to use this kind of name resolution before it's too late. Okay, thank you.